<clears throat> this is the future. Well, it's more like the future. <laughs> I know, it's, it's a bad pun, but as you can see today, we are on FIFA 16 doing something a little different than what we uh, normally do um, on uh, Sunday. I play FIFA quite a lot in my spare time, so I thought, why not, you know, make some videos on it? And that's, that's what we're doing. So I wanted to start a series on FIFA that is focused around kind of one player building up the rest of the teams by scoring goals, doing doing clever stuff and, and whatnot. You smart. No! So the main player of course today, if you haven't worked it out already, is the one and only Paola Futra. Not sure how you pronounce it, but that'll have to do. Of course, I haven't used him at all, so I have no idea what it's gonna be like. It's gonna be a totally new experience. I'm not great at FIFA, so that probably won't add to the, uh, the problems I'm gonna face. But um, if we take a look on screen, um, Hopefully the graphic you'll see in a second will explain everything you need to know about the series. So if I quickly go ahead and pull that up. Um, and there you go. So what is that? What the fuck is that? You can see it shows you everything you need to know about the progression system and what we need to do to actually get the uh, the upgrades. I mean, I didn't have a whole lot of time to work on this graphic, so you know, do apologize for the uh, slight lack of quality but you know it's nothing my my videos aren't totally used to um i'd say i'd say it was it was art really of course all joking aside you can see on screen the slightly more impressive uh, graphic that uh, i put together now on the right hand side we got the the progression system which is pretty straightforward really you've got base which is obviously no upgrades um the base being completely non-rare bronzes unfortunately uh, a few of the players in the team aren't actually non-rare bronzes, but I, I don't really think it'll matter too much. Um, now, we'll talk about the progression system in just a second, but on the left-hand side, we've got players upgrade, or player upgrades can be from. Now, they can be from West Ham, Porto, Benfica, Sporting CP, Atletico Madrid, and, of course, Portugal. Now, I selected those four, well, three teams and one nation because, of course, Paolo Futra is from Portugal and those three, one, two, three, four, five technically, uh, teams he used to play for. So I thought it'd be quite an interesting concept to try and upgrade all the players and make a interesting hybrid to, um, to build around him. Then of course we do have the upgrade points are earned by goals. A goal by Paolo Futra equals two points, an assist equals one point, a hat-trick equals three points, red card of course means minus two that isn't just for uh power of future that's for anybody on the entire team so if anybody gets a red card that's minus two upgrades a rage quit in the first half is of course two upgrades and a rage quit in the second half equals one now now for the other people in my team i haven't forgotten about them if any of them score a goal which is highly unlikely but if they do then that's one upgrade an assist is 0 0.5 i put 0 0.5 because I imagine quite a few people in the team are going to be trying to feed the ball to Paolo Futra, so you know there could be there could be a barrage of assists from some random non-rare bronzes. So if a million people or say eleven people on on the team get an assist, I don't want just like eleven upgrades. So that is that, and of course a hat trick equals two, so slightly less than than uh, the main player. Now onto the progression system. That should hopefully make a little bit more sense after knowing the kind of upgrade points. So one point is, is a rare bronze, two inform bronze, and of course vice versa. So non-rare silver, rare silver, inform silver, non-rare gold, rare gold, inform gold. Then of course you do have, um, I've put three kind of ideas. It's more just a, a range of any special card. So for example, man of the match, record breaker, and of course team of the year is all nine upgrades. I didn't want to separate them because I feel that'd just be kind of ridiculous having nine, 10, 11, 12, because there's millions of, of different special cards. So it's easier just to keep it in one, one separate category. And of course, last but not least, Mark 10 being maximum level 
is of course legendary status being a legend. So with all that said, hopefully you've got the but the basic ideas of this series. If you do have any ideas to input to it, please do feel free to leave it in the comment section below. That would be absolutely awesome. Um, and I suppose without further ado, it's probably time to jump into maybe a death sentence. Uh, <laughs> Here we go for game number one, otherwise known as uh, thrashing number one. Uh, uh, what the fuck? 82 rated. My squad's basically 75. Rated so, I mean, it, I'm I'm fairly I'm fairly confident that I can do something, but no doubt this guy's probably thinking he's struck gold coming up against my my crappy team. I do have, if you're wondering, the um, tournament winning kit, which you could get from I think it was the foot birthday kit uh, cup. Come on, there you go. Paolo Futra doing work already. Oh, that make oh come on. Damn it. Hold up. Wait. No way. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Nah, really? That pretty much sums up my uh, my luck on FIFA in a nutshell. Unbelievable. I suppose that's what you get for having uh, non-rare bronzes. What a block. This guy, somebody should get that guy a medal. I've got to keep learning as well on FIFA not to just press the sprint button. He's not offside, is he? I keep getting tricked out by the um, freaking turn back he does whenever he gets his player on, on the wings. And then of course he... Uh, that's a go Holy Jesus! Oh, oh my... Oh my days. Somebody give this guy a medal. Somebody give him the key to the city. That was an unreal save. I... I don't understand it because um, most goalkeepers would never have saved that. Holy! He tried. He tried his best. So all, all you can ask. Can he? Could he get onto that? Of course, it's Kyle Walker though. Oh, mistake. Ah, oh, really? Oh my days! Would you? Would you believe it? I don't know who that guy is. Was it Santos? Whatever his name is, he's just scored an absolute blinder of a header. Put, uh, put all those goal players into their place, doesn't it? Oh, he just got absolutely mugged off, mate. I, what? One goal out of seven shots, four on target. We haven't had the most possession, admittedly, but we don't need it if you know if you're scoring goals. So, and of course, most of my team is non-rare bronzes, so they're playing superbly well. And, um, oh, okay. As you do, you just bring on Cristiano Ronaldo. Spectacular passing by this, uh, by this non-rare gold side. Oh, that wasn't, that wasn't meant for Paolo Futra. There was a guy making a run on the, uh, edge of the box. Holy, he's just taking the ball like an absolute superstar. Pass it in. Who is this? Who is this guy? Nah, no, really? Okay. Oh, get out of Ref, sort him out, please. My player almost died. No, is he actually rage quit? Has, has this guy rage quit against a uh, against a what is it non rare non rare bronze? Did we say? I think if I just put the put this down because this guy has gone. See you later, mate. That is uh, I I don't even I don't I can't even comprehend this guy really. Really, there was no, nobody's playing FIFA. By the looks of things, this guy has a pretty awesome squad. Quite similar, I would imagine quite similar to the last team. Had a very, of course, of course. Haha, <laughs> what a funny joke. Oh man, I have, I've literally not seen Paolo Futra at all this game, really. Apart from that one time when he ran into the box, that was pretty much it. No, I don't believe this. I don't, oh my days. Another amazing save by by Alves, I think it is. It, oh, for a non-rare bronze goalkeeper, he's pretty good. I think I spoke too soon. Oh, I see the run. No. No way. Of course it was meant to go to him first of all, but of course the game doesn't... Uh, I'm trying to get Paolo Futre involved in the game, but it's just not playing ball 
That's a foul, ref. That has to be a. That has to be a foul. He pushed me. Pass it in. Put it in. There you go. Okay, so what a goal to to freaking score. But uh, Ricardo, whatever his name is, scored a goal, which is not, of course, Paolo Futra. So that is one upgrade. So we have four four upgrades in total. Way. Great, great tackle, great tackle, great tackle, good tackle, but of course now he gets the ball back and then, what can you do, what can you do? Alright, so if we have a quick look at the, uh, the stats, so of course as we know we got one goal from the striker which is quite good, um, and we got, which is the fourth upgrade, and of course did we get any assists? We did, we got one <laughs> it's not going to make any difference at all. So we've technically got four and a half upgrades. So we can get four and a half people. All right, so the last thing to do really is to remove these Muppets from the team and put in, if we do this properly, okay, bronze, uh, there you go. All right, so there's our new centre mid, which... I can't really say too much. I don't. I, to be honest, I don't really think it's going to improve too much. But we'll uh, we'll wait and see. And of course, the centre back which we got from Atletico goes straight into the squad, getting absolutely no chemistry whatsoever. So with that said, though, I think it's probably a good uh, good place to end it here. Of course, as always, I do hope you enjoyed this. Uh, video. I know it's a little different, probably very, very different, but if you did give it a watch and give it a try, I really, really do appreciate it. So thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time. So what I thought we'd do today is we'll change up the channel drastically, like everything. So one of the main things I really want to change is adding more kick baby titles, so you know, you can crack up those, those, those views. Um,